In June 1962, inmates Claren Anglin, John Anglin and Frank Morris escaped from the Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary, a maximum security prison located on Alcatraz Island in San Francisco Bay. Late on the night of June 11, 1962, the three men took paper mache heads resembling their own likeness into their beds, broke out of the main prison building via ventilation ducts and an unused utility corridor, and departed the island aboard an improvised inflatable raft to an uncertain fate. A fourth conspirator, Alan West, failed in his escape attempt and remained on the island. All of the attempted escapees were arrested and convicted of a range of crimes throughout their lifetime, serving time in various prisons across the United States. At the time of the escape, Morris was serving 10 years for bank robbery, the Anglins were serving 35 years for bank robbery, and West was serving time for car theft. Morris was sent to Alcatraz after a successful escape attempt from Louisiana State Penitentiary and was sent to Alcatraz upon his re-arrest. The Anglins also attempted escape numerous times and thus were both referred to Alcatraz as well. The four inmates all knew each other from previous incarcerations in Florida and Georgia. When they were assigned adjacent cells in December 1961, they began formulating an escape plan under the leadership of Morris. The group had begun laying plans the previous December when one of them came across some old saw blades. Using crude tools, including a homemade drill made from the motor of a broken vacuum cleaner, the plotters each loosened their air vents at the back of their cells by painstakingly drilling closely spaced holes around the cover so the entire section of the wall could be removed. Once through, they hid the holes with whatever they could, a suitcase, a piece of cardboard, etc. Behind the cells was a common unguarded utility corridor. They made their way down this corridor and climbed climbed to the roof of their cell block inside the building, where they set up a secret workshop. There, taking turns keeping watch for the guards in the evening before the last count, they used a variety of stolen and donated materials to build and hide what they needed to escape. More than 50 raincoats that they stole or gathered were turned into makeshift life preservers and a 6x14 foot rubber raft. The seams carefully stitched together and vulcanised by the hot steam pipes in the prison. The idea came from magazines that were found in the prisoner's cells. They also built wooden paddles and converted a musical instrument into a tool to inflate the raft. At the same time they were looking for a way out of the building. The ceiling was a good 30 feet high, but using a network of pipes they climbed up and eventually pried open the ventilator at the top of the shaft. They kept it in place temporarily by fashioning a fake bolt out of soap. On the night of June 11th, 1962, with all preparations in place, the men initiated their plan. Alan West discovered that the cement he had used to reinforce crumbling concrete around this vent had hardened, narrowing the opening and fixing the grill in place. By the time he managed to remove the grill and re-widen the hole, the others had left without him. As a result, he returned to his cell and went back to sleep. From the service corridor, Morris and the Anglins climbed the ventilation shaft to the roof. Guards heard a loud crash as they broke out of the shaft, but nothing further was heard and the source of the noise was not investigated. Hauling their gear with them, they descended 50 feet to the ground by sliding down a kitchen vent pipe, then climbed two 12-foot barbed wire perimeter fences. At the northeast shoreline near the power plant, at a blind spot in the prison's network of searchlights and gun towers, they inflated their raft with a concertina stolen from another inmate and modified it to serve as bellows. At some time after 10pm, investigators estimated they boarded the raft, launched it, and departed the island toward their objective, Angel Island, two miles to the north of Alcatraz. That concludes the initial escape attempt of Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers. In my next video, I will be comprising evidence as to whether or not the inmates survived the journey to shore, while also discussing reported sightings of them from over the years.